Welcome back to the Ed Puzzle video two of two. So in the first video I showed you that we tried to upload a video that was a .mov. And so when I do that and I select it, this goes nowhere. It prepares and it looks like it might do something. It finds it so you would think that it's going to do it, but it's not. So that's a video file from your phone, from your iPhone. Um, so if I go and I upload another video and I choose files and I search WMV. So here's one. Again, it looks like it's going to do something. It says it's preparing, but it's not doing it. So what we need to do, we can do one of, we can do a couple things. I would say the easiest way is to open up YouTube and go into this upload up in the top corner. Now, if you don't want anyone to see your video, then make it a private video. And now when you click on select files to upload, find a WMV in your files or find a .mov in your files and then upload it. And yes, you can make it private so no one can see it and all you, and then I'll just show you what to do. So you can do this with a WMV, the MOV, basically any file format, a video that is not being recognized in Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle seems to like MP4s. So while this is processing, then I'll show you what we can do with it. Now that the video is uploaded, you can click on Save Changes and go to Video Manager. And now this is the video I just put up. Notice that it is private. I can click on where it says edit, I can click on the arrow, and I can click on download mp4. Now it is downloading the mp4 for me, so I, I don't have to use it from YouTube. And now if I want to get rid of this video, I can just check off this checkbox here, go to actions, and click on delete, and delete. So now, even though it was private, no one else could see it, it still won't ever be on YouTube. Because the thing, when it's private, it's still, it is still on the internet if you don't want it on there. So basically, we just used YouTube to take your video, to put it up, to con and then be able to come and download as an MP4. So now when I go back to Edpuzzle, and I click on create and upload video, choose files in my downloads here. I have this video now and it is an MP4 and it will work. So that is the way that you can get around using videos that you might have recorded on your phone or using videos that you might have recorded using the smart board. Thank you.